Okay, so I was listening to this guy, this um, wise guy, and um, yeah, he was talking about densities and dimensions and yeah, all that stuff. So yeah, um, I use the word dimensions because y'all humans have called them dimensions. On the outside, we don't call them anything. They're identified by vibration, so we just go to this vibration. We don't have names for each other. We don't have names for places. We just uh, say, vibration, I'm there. Somebody wants to know where you are. They reach out and they feel the vibration that you're at. And they know where you are, what you're doing. Uh, they can correspond with you anytime they want. Uh, it's just it's completely different. So, I just wanted to say that, you know, there I've seen a couple of these folks that somehow decide that plants and animals or elements, rocks and trees are all first and second dimension. Uh, no, they're not. No, they're not. And the reason why I would make a big deal about this is they're with you, okay? They're in the same dimension you are. You can see them. They can see you. If you would listen to them, they do talk. Uh, you just, most people don't listen to them, but they're there, okay? They're there. There's a lot on these dimensions. There's kind of a, a 3 slash 4D point 101, point 102, point 103. And so uh, the animals can move back and forth in these little vibrational changes. And that's what happens to uh, like a, a hunter. If you're a hunter and you go out and you respect your prey, that you are thankful and love nature. If you go out, like there's a reason why the original peoples would have a kind of a get together the night before and ask the buffalo or the deer or whoever, whatever they're hunting for a good hunt. You, They would ask for them to, they're asking for one of the entities to sacrifice itself, to bring itself in. Ask him for somebody who's ready to go to uh, show up for them so that they can continue to feed their tribe and at the same time there's this matchup. There's this matchup of, a, of an entity that's a buffalo that's ready to go and that match will go with a, a tribe who needs that buffalo to survive the winter. Okay, there's a match up there. That's why they uh, did what they did. And everybody that's in modern go, well, how, do you, how did you kill these animals? Because they asked for them. They, they asked permission. And the animal came to them. A lot of hunters go out and they'll be like deer everywhere. But they've got the wrong attitude. So they'll vibrate wrong. They'll be bossy and, oh, I'm going to get it. And they'll come back and they won't have gotten anything where some very natural person that goes out and hunts uh, because they need to eat for the winter will come back with, you know, all everything. But very quickly come back with what they need. You know, I've literally seen deer uh, vanish in front of me. I've literally seen it. I've gone out in the right place and then started because I was raised with hunters started that hunter uh, mentality of resistance and I've actually seen it the deer in front of me just kind of beam me up Scotty it looked like they teleported and that's what that's what the animals will do they will vibrate according to uh, and they can do it at the last minute just like I saw uh, probably a lot of hunters have seen that but they probably talk themselves out of it when oh no that didn't really happen yeah it does uh, you think the tuna fish are gone out of the ocean? No, they're not. Uh, they just, there's things, there's agreements that are going on. Uh, whales are the same way. Dolphins are the same way. A lot of fish, uh, they just vibrate differently and they just disappear. Uh, if they don't want to deal with the whalers or the fishermen or whatever, they just vibrate a little bit differently and they're gone. Uh, there's a lot of talk about that in the ocean. That uh, There's a lot of fish and then there's none. Uh, that's because they go shoom, and move over. Uh, yeah. Like that. Uh, it's very interesting. But the, 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 the plants and animals are not on first and second uh, dimension. Those are completely different dimensions. They are completely different dimensions. Now, I know they've said, well, one first dimension is like, well, I think a flat dot on a page or something. And then second dimension, dimension is you geometrically they're making that first, second, and third and I guess fourth. Fourth is time. Now I'm not 
break in one, two, three, four down like that because, well, it's like, <laughs> it's like you guys are, it's like the scientists are describing the outside of a house and saying, well, that's the whole house. That's where you're going, okay, this is third dimension and this is the description of the outside of the house. When you just can't see, you just don't know the inside of the house. So, yeah, you can think the third dimension and the fourth dimension, there's only three sides and and four sides and one side and two sides, but yeah, none of that is true. None of it's true. It's just different vibration with different layout and different games that are being played. Uh, first and second are just as complex as third and fourth. They're just as valid. Um, they're just different. Fifth and sixth, again, that's why I have trouble describing fifth and sixth to you guys and beyond is because they're just completely different. They're just completely different. They're just completely different. <laughs> just completely different. <laughs> I'll continue to try, but yeah, I am not one that's going to back and say, oh yeah, the plants and animals are first and second dimension. I think I've heard somebody say oil was first dimension or something. I just, yeah, no. Uh -uh, I don't support any of that. So, just thought I'd throw that out uh, about what dimensions aren't to me. Now, they can have whatever they want. They can view it however they want. I'm just telling you that is not the way I look at them. And I do not even use a word that, use the word dimensions for you, but don't think of it in a scientific way. Just think of it more like a title. Like, this is this is Puka Dog, this is Inca Dog, okay, this third dimension, fourth dimension, don't think dimensions as in geometry, because they've made that third dimension, second dimension, just because of what they can see in the moment through their knowledge at this time. There's a lot more to it than that on the third dimension, a lot more than three sides. <laughs> okay, guys, well, that's it for this one. Huge hugs, and I love you so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.